In this video, it's our first time outside the castle after arriving at school, and we're going to explore the village of Hogsmeade. I'm also going to find out what wand I've been given. I want you to watch this video and tell me which of these shops would you most like to be able to shop in. Maybe you want to go in the magic joke shop, maybe you want to get magical sweets, or maybe you just want to get your very own wand. All right, here we are, fresh off of our classes and being sent to Hogsmeade after learning Reparo, Reparo, Reparo. And had to choose between Natty and Sebastian to go to Hogsmeade with, going with Sebastian because I already know that Natty's nice and I wanna know what Sebastian's deal is. Well, fancy meeting you here. So that's what we're gonna do. Rebellion. Since he's a Slytherin, see if he's good or bad. This set of armor belonged to Sir Scacklethorpe, the Heedless, who unwisely challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. Nice. Hello, Sebastian. Off to Hogsmeade outside for the ah, first time. My new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well. I shall endeavour to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? I don't have a broom yet, though. They're outside. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Perhaps you can meet me after the Herbology and show me how I'm supposed to do that thing before. You sort of forget this is back in the past, like a really old time, because Hogwarts is kind of the same, <laughs> even in the movies, right? Everyone's dressing the same and talking the same. It feels like it could be set now. There isn't much really setting it, but maybe when we get into town, it'll feel more like that out of the school, I guess. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. Wow. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Look at that. I spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Bit of a bad boy, this Sebastian Sallow. I appreciate a good Speaking bit of alliteration. Of this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Said Mad Morph. <laughs> Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me. As is often the case. There's a sheep! <laughs> Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. <laughs> Look! Goats, rams, sheep? Hello. Where can I pet you? Hi, darling. I can't interact with them. Hmm? Sorry, you were saying, mate? Eh. I don't know if you know, but I love bloody love so animals. I'm a Hufflepuff. To get from the bad side? <laughs> well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, I'm inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lace ring flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Sounds cruel. Oh, they're like buzzing and making noise in my out of my controller speaker and like vibrating. That's cool. This looks really nice. Even though I know the models are a little bit sort of Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look. What's oh. going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Fantastic beasts. Um, I know some, sort of the models could be considered a little bit last gen, but the environments really are gorgeous. To me, anyway. 
Do you think Poppy's already seen the <gasps> Arthur? Absolutely. Likely already named them too. France Hoof and Sugarfoot. What's up, nasal nerds? I'm part. I'm part of the nasal nerds gang too. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsby just past those ruins up ahead. <gasps> Squirrel, can I pet you? Hi, hi, hi. Hogsmead. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Though there's places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you. Akio! Well, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Just built different. Look. Dragon horses. Oh! Go back. Get distracted easily. I think. Oh, it's the all time for the awkward silence, is it? Well, I've always oh. thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself first time huh. too. Most oh, notably crystals. that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. What's the deal with seeing those then? Why can't most people see them? Do you have to be a bit special? Mr. Moon! He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Oh, Looks I thought a bit I could worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure! Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, look right at me! Eyes big as saucers! Saucers! What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys, ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. I think you're drunk, sir. A Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Crystals. Mr. Moon is Ah, that's how we get him. He's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Moonstone. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. A cute sign. Here we go. Hogsmead over a little bridge. Slow role play walk. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmead. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Place really sounded like Dumbledore. Hogsmead. The hog's head. Zonkos. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and some other bits. Yeah, I want my yes. wand. Yes. Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Oh, that's nice Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Okay. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Okay. Hogsmeade, brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest. 
Wow. Okay. I just want to explore on foot and see things. I don't want to look in there, do I? Let's go back here and see what everything is. What's this place? Sir... Sir... Sir Edwin's Cauldrons. new hat. A sleeping cap. Let's have a look. There's a shortcut for my inventory, so I don't have to go through there. It's going to be hard to beat this hat. And that ain't going to do it, is it? Bloody wee willy winky there. Hi. Can you tell me about your oh, your cauldrons? I mean, <clears throat> sorry, say it with confidence. Sorry, we've been working on this. We've been working on this more. Come on. Hi, I'd like to. Oh, I seem to have exited the back door. What's this? Oh. Hi. <laughs> What's this? A, a buffalo. Cow. Honey dukes. Leech juice. Gross. Anyone home? Okay. Back into the village. I wish there was something more exciting than money in these, honestly. Give me some loot, you know. Right. Tomes and scrolls. A bookshop. An inquiring mind. Hello, mate. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity. What happened to ex nihilo nihilo? That is where eat. my hmm? spellcrafts come in. Stay the course. And you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? We have a potting table with a small pot spellcraft. If you're interested, what else can we feel do? free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. A beast feeder, a beast toy box, a chopping station, a dung composter. I almost don't want to look. Since I can't afford them yet anyway. What a lovely shop. Revelio. Some stuff out there. Oh. Aki. Get Akied. You've unlocked collected rewards in the challenges menu. I like rewards. Um, bum, bum. 
Zonko's chief prankster spectacles. The regalia spectacles and regalia gloves. Okay. Let's have a look at what they look like. Where do they... Wait, where do they go? Mm. But I unlocked them. Maybe they have to be purchased or something. Gear appearance reward. Right. So what did it, do I change the appearance of these ones? Confused. Worry about it later. I'll be off then, sir. Thanks for the stuff. Morgan Le Fay got an unearned reputation, if you ask me. I don't know. Zip. Wigan potions. Revelio. Accio. The pages are getting yoinked. Exploring every nook and cranny. Oh, there we go. Should get back into town. No, hi, hi, how are you? How are you? Good to see you. What's this? Supplies. Locked. It's a sporting place. Quidditch and such. Ah, my wand. Let's see what wand I get. Blooming beard, not a gem. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Uh, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Excuse me? You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Okay. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Would you want a big wand or a little wand? This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. I feel like if you were casting spells. Uh, you don't want it to be too you? long, do you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah. Unwieldy. There you are. Yes. I 
think you might be the one. Here. Take it. Ah. Oh, I'm gonna pick. Okay, so it's given me a crooked spiral. Right. Chestnut wood. Unicorn hair. Reasonably supple. <laughs> Twelve and a quarter inches. Right? Is this... Is everyone's different? <laughs> Listen, everyone's is different and it's completely normal. But I guess I can change it if I want. I don't want a crooked one. Curious indeed. Notched. Warm brown. Classic. Grey. A soft spiral in light brown. Ash brown spiral. That one talks to me. How intriguing. Honey brown stalk. Ringed. Dark brown. The crooked spiral. Dark grey. I mean, I like that it's cool and crooked and it gave it to me, but I don't like this little bend in the end. Curious indeed. Hmm, or a natural white one. I wish I could see myself holding it so I could see. There's variations, too. How intriguing. Okay. Okay, first of all, which shape spoke to me? I'm, I like the soft spiral. Let's see what other Curious colors we indeed. have. An ash brown's proper spiral. It's not soft. Like a druid's wand. How intriguing. That's the stalk. I don't like the ringed one. It makes me feel weird. Curious indeed. I also don't want to like disrespect the wand that chose me. The natural one's nice. How intriguing. Honey brown. I wouldn't want the grey one. I feel like it's gonna stick out like a sore thumb, but natural honey brown is nice. Curious indeed. Or I stick with a crooked wand. <laughs> eh, my wand's crooked? Let me see what other changes there are. Wood type. How intriguing. I'm guessing this is just for your, you know, personal preference. Cypress. Curious indeed. I think when I did uh, the wand on the website, it was cypress wood. Horn beam. That's horn How beam. intriguing. That's bone. Redwood. Spruce. Vine. A willow. A yew tree. Curious indeed. All nut. These nuts. Just shouts these nuts every time he's in combat. Maple. It's got to be maple, isn't it? For the How syrup, intriguing. for pancakes. Has to be. Now, how big is it? Nine and a half inches is the smallest, all the way up to 14 and a half. Let's go with lucky number 13 inches. Curious indeed. The flexibility, quite bendy. Rate yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Rate your flexibility in a comment. Are you quite bendy? How intriguing. Fairly bendy. Very flexible. Quite flexible. Surprisingly swishy. Swishy. Slightly springy. Supple. Reasonably Curious supple. Indeed. Whippy. Pliant. Brittle. Hard. Solid. <laughs> Stiff. Rigid. How intriguing. Unbending. Slightly yielding, unyielding. I'm gonna have Curious an indeed. unyielding 13 inch maple with hair of the unicorn serves as the core of the wand, known for producing consistent magic. Feather of a phoenix, capable of producing great range of magic. I believe, I know I had dragon core on the website, does that mean what the strings are? Dragon heart string producing powerful magic. I'm gonna go with a dragon because that's a dragon cool. heart string wand is most powerful and learns quickly. I 
think now we're doing maple. I'm going to go with intriguing. the natural honey brown talks to me. There you go. What do you think? Looks good. It's natural. It's classic. It's a timeless look. I'm feeling Extraordinary. It. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sense a sort of surge of some kind. Sorry, I don't know if that gulp came through, but I'm drinking Your iced tea. Seemed and I put too much in my mouth. Powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Alright. Got me wand. Revelio. Very nice. So what do you do in this shop, sir? I don't seem to be able to talk to you yet, but... I don't assume I, like, customise my wand or something. Onward. Couple of dapper lads there. What's going on? You're looking well fancy, like a right old plum. Oh, a scarecrow's got out of its field. What's up, lads? Look at me new wand. How'd you like that? It's classic, isn't it? Timeless. 13 inches, boys. Anyway. What's going on in Zonko's? It's like a joke shop. Musical balloons. Oh. <laughs> Terrifying. Gillyweed tonic. Isn't that what they used to breathe underwater in the World Cup one? Oh, the fire! Tempest in a bottle. Hogsmeade station trains. <clears throat> a boxing telescope. What's this? Don't push. Obviously gonna push it. Oh. Careful now. The bewildering can of mystery. Surprise. Where'd that child come from? He wasn't there a second ago, was he? Anything in here? Revelio. Um. Oh, hang on. Was that the page there? Yes. Frogspawn soap. An amphibious surprise awaits anyone who tries to wash with this particular bar of soap. Once submerged in water, a cohort of wriggling tadpoles hatches out of the suds. Disgusting. If somebody played that prank on me, I would never talk to them again. Okay. What else did I need? Visit J. Pippin's Potions and the Magic Neep. What's up here? Oh, this looks cute. What is this? Like a little cafe? shop. A hair salon. Hello. Hello. Oh, come in. Come in. Welcome to Madame Snelling's Tress Emporium. 
I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly, why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry and I'm here thriving. <laughs> Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Wow. Looking for a change, are we? Wow. I'm a child. That was very rude. Let's have a look. Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. Okay. What services do you offer? What is it you might be interested in? So we can change our complexion, freckles and moles, our scar, eye colour, eyebrow colour, our eyebrows, or our hairstyle. And then it's 20 for like each change. <laughs> just come out like this. Hi, hi Sebastian. Yeah, just fancy to change, you know. Whilst I was in there. <laughs> just, you know, trying to really get into the Hufflepuff vibe of everything. I'm wearing hats anyway. I don't need it, but that's cool that we can change. It's in that big cage. Mm -hmm. It's out here. A little stream. Oh, having an issue with something. Akio. What a pretty bird. Oh. I told you not to go down that path. Miss Peck from Brood and Peck said a customer lost a deer all around here. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought... You could have got us in a lot of trouble. I'm very sorry, Father. Only she said I might earn a reward. Ugh. Instead, I just wasted our time. There you are. Ha! Huh. Finally. I'll have enough for that wind wisp. Ah, well, not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind, I'll fix it, as always. Hmm. Wonder if I could get you. Rebellion. Where are you, little bird? There's a chest, though. Repair. Accio. Levioso! Lumos! Nothing works for you yet, huh? Mm hmm. -hmm. Revelio! Seems like there's quite a bit to explore here. Hello! What's in here? Don't mind if I do, sir. Hello. What do you sell? Can't talk to you yet, apparently. Oh. I got a fedora now. It's a clothes shop. Why can't I look at the clothes? Please, sir. Please, sir. I need to look at the clothes. Revelio. Glad Rags Mannequin. Unlike enchanted other unlike the enchanted mannequins favoured by students for jeweling practice, the mannequins at Glad Rags serve only as a means to display the latest in wizarding fashion. Scriven shafts. Happening in here. Scriven shaft cats. They seem to stay close to Scriven shaft's quill shop. Perhaps it's the feather quills that entice them, or perhaps it's the treats the owner often leaves. Is that whispering? Revelio. Some ASMR going on in here. Um. 
Bow. Free money. Post office. Oh. Steeply and Sons. Honey Dukes. Oh, hang on. Rebellion. Sweet shop sells a variety of magical sweets, from fizzing whizbies to exploding bonbons. Customers should be wise to know precisely what effect they experience before they sample the shop's wares. Sweets. What's this? What'd it do? Nothing. The candy conjurer. Oh. Okay. Won't be eating any of that. <laughs> uh, fizzing whizbies. They'll make you float. Looks really unenjoyable. <laughs> It's so colourful in here. I want some sweets now. Pumpkins. Ready for Halloween. What are these? Uh, elephant on a bicycle. <laughs> what? What does that do? It turns me into an animal. But that's not. That's a train. Oh, camera. <laughs> this would so be fun to play with friends. It's like a Russian roulette. Take one and see what happens. Rebellion. Exploding bonbons. Pepper imps. That is some rough animation. It's cute. Oh, locked. Oh, looks like a big old lock on there. Mm, what are these? It's just cake. Candy floss. Getting candy floss at the fair is such a treat, isn't it? When you're a kid. And the way they stick the stick in there and whip it up for you and pull it out. Have about three mouthfuls and you're like, oh, that's enough. Way too sugary, but... A treat, nonetheless. I can just eat everything in here. Munch, munch. Rebellion. All right, I best be on my way. So that's the end. Let's see where I've missed what I needed to do. Bum, 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 bum. That was the sporting goods. There's the wand shop. We went in there. Tomes and Scrolls, the Hog's Head, a pub. Okay, so that's where we go after, I think. There's J. Pippin's Potions, the Joke Shop, the Three Broomsticks. I don't think I went in. It's an inn and a pub. So there's two, more than one pub. Um, a tea shop is Steeply and Sons. Oh, like how you steep tea. There's Honey Dukes, Hogsmeade Square, Brood and Peck, a Beast Supply Shop. The Old Fool, an abandoned building, and the magic Neep. Okay, so we'll go to potions and then to Neep. 
Good thing I looked at the map because it's all the way over there. We've been running around for ages. Rebellion. Hmm? So good at finding these. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss La Wang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, Let's get you those recipes, shall we? If you <clears throat> if you could only do one do thing, either potions or wand spells, what would you do? Would you rather be a potion maker and master or a wand master? I feel like I would choose wand. I guess the advantage of a potion would be able to make things for other people to take, you know? Recipe for a potion that causes a rocky film to develop on the consumer's skin, protecting from harm. And a healing potion. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. You have ingredients. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Already made drafts. Ah. You're selling. Oh, I'm. That's for me to sell. I can sell stuff to you. Right. Okay, I see. Revelio. Oh, that's the potion that's done. Page flying around out there. J. Pippin's Potions, established in 1753, the Apothecary in Hogsmeade, where proprietor Parry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions of their ingredients. Try saying that ten times fast. A nocturnal teal ensemble. Hello. That sounds lovely. So I currently have on my perfect vest uniform. Ah, there's stats on here too. So this would be defense up, and it's an extraordinary nocturnal teal ensemble. It's nice, but isn't teal kind of like Slytherin-y? Like this is obviously my huffy puffy colors. Oh, nothing, 15. Four with that on. My defense goes up by quite a bit if I wear that. So I'll throw it on. Let me check out my new hat. Fairy green sorcerer hat. No trait applied, so it's got can have traits on it too. I'm getting used to this hat, honestly. I'll keep it. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, I'll rock the scarf still. Okay, and then <clears throat> on to the next spot. Rebellion. It's a chest. 
Ah, it's one of those eyeball ones. This looks cute. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Hey, up Timothy Teasdale. I Let do me guess. You're seeds after something and fresh. Garden stuff. Hello, mate. Me magic neat. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's mm. everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Let's do it. I feel like we might get into some trouble together. <laughs> I shall fully explore and finish Hogsmeade another time. Let's press on. Up here. Coming through. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Here comes trouble. tutorial are we weakening them at all I think that will wear us down eventually oh damn son what was that Taste of his own medicine. Ancient magic throw. That's pretty sweet. What's she gonna do? What's she gonna do, punk? Me. 
Wow. Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. <laughs> of course, <coughs> officer. Singer. Officer Singer. Oh, you're a and singer. You. Uh, uh, Again. Officer Singer. Right, that's confusing. Um, so we saved the village and our reward is to clean up. Right. That sounds oh, hello fair. There. A moment if you would. I'll go and see what he wants. Hmm. Okay. Repair. Way to get out of tidying anything up, Sebastian. Oh, I'll see what he wants. Nips inside. Whilst I do everything. So powerful. Repair. One less damage. thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Oh, new scarf. A little karma reward there for tidying up. Get a little scarf. Rebellion. Some new clothes. Alright, what else needs pairing? Dun, 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 dun. All this, eh? That makes sense. Repairer. I'm that powerful. Jeez, I can rebuild a whole house? It's crazy. And trim your bush for you. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Uh-huh. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Augustus Hill, clothier extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very Don't generous. Say no to a new outfit. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. A traditional school robe. Right. What else do you have? Oh, that's not the right button. Uh huh. I don't even get to see it. What else are you selling? Uh, red plaid garb, blue nightcap, elegant shirt and tie uniform. These clothes are quite expensive, but it's where all of my money is going to go, let me tell you. A sheepskin. Oh, I can preview. Right. Nice. That's a nice jacket. Oh, a cape. We definitely need a cape to run around in. Are you kidding? We're going to be that kid. Gloves, fingerless gloves, glasses that look awful. That's a nice top. Blue nightcaps, purple. Shirt and tie, hmm, nah. 
Oh, a Renaissance cap. Frameless spectacles. Those look alright, actually. Kind of matrixy. I definitely want the cape. Come on. Look how good I look. Absolute nerd. Love it. Might have to buy this. Do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't yeah. you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. Let's do I it. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. But what was the outfit he gave me? Let me see. Let's see the difference. Oh, it's the same, but with a higher um, offense. I see. Well, I'm going to rock that cape. I don't know if the hat goes with it. <laughs> cape and a fedora? That's a bit much, isn't it? Maybe if I lose the scarf, I think... Actually, wait, I have a... Hmm. Yes. Now it's coming together with the different... What do you do with a scarf and a cape? I mean, I make my own rules. I'm a trendsetter. I don't follow trends. <laughs> there we go. We got the green vibes going on. Don't do the glasses. We'll, uh, we'll rock that. my shop at your leisure. Yeah. Um, so cool. First time visiting Hogsmeade. Kill the troll. And now I dress like this. Now I have a cape because I'm a su Oh, wait. That's the thing I just put back together. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Hang on. Repair. <clears throat> my bad. I'm a bit excited with my new cape. I'm like a superhero. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Alrighty. Off to the pub. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. How is he not like the child's right there? Go and get him. He was literally just listening Did they to see us. us? <laughs> what? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood, the goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. But is it alcohol? Heard about the attack. I can't. Be. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, 
trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <laughs> oh. <I'll turn> <laughs> look at how I froze up, like, don't turn around, don't look at them. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything, but it's perhaps best I do that later. It's kind of weird if butterbeers... On that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Butterbeers aren't alcoholic, right? So I'm assuming it's the equivalent of, like, going for a milkshake, but also we're kind of role-playing having a beer like we're proper in a pub. Like, it's a pub for children to drink sh sugary beer. What's this? Hmm, some nuts. And a cake. There we go. <laughs> Just standing up in the cape against, like, a couple of thugs, like, Oh, yeah, excuse me. You want some of this, do ya? Revelio. Let's see what's up here. Something. I'll explore later. Let's move forward. Oh, it's night time. Cool. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. No, we don't. Return to your common room for the night. Access the map. Select the Hogwarts button to switch. Fast travel to your common room. I wanted to see Hogsmeade at night, but that's fine. We'll have plenty of time in the future. I tend usually to avoid fast travel in games because I feel like you have a much sort of immer more immersive time. When I first played Skyrim... I didn't fast travel for... I didn't even know fast travel was a thing for the first 15, 20 hours I was playing that game. And I had a wonderful time just walking through the villages and wilds. Alright. A new day. Let's see what happens next. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please do hit like and subscribe. Also, if you need something else, there are some videos on the screen, or you can check out my podcast of bedtime stories. It's called Down to Sleep. Let me know in a comment if you think I should read Harry Potter on the Bedtime Story podcast. Until next time, thanks for watching, and good night.